All right, 135. Uh, why is the number of doctors per 100,000 a better measure of availability of health care than a simple count of the number of doctors in a state? Um, this is a great question that uh, I think we need to th people need to think about more often. Um, and in this case, it's probably pretty obvious, but I wanted, to, wanted you to think about it. If I just said a state has say 10,000 doctors in it, you might think, wow, that's a lot of doctors, or you might think that's not a lot of doctors. Well, if a state has, if a state has, you know, 10 million people in it, or 1 million people in it, compare. The 10,000 doctors serving a million people or 10,000 doctors serving 10 million people. There's a big difference in healthcare in those two situations, right? So just knowing the total number of doctors doesn't really tell you what kind of healthcare you're going to get. You need to know something about how many people are in the state. And so that's why the number of doctors per um, 100,000 people, which is what the table tells us, will tell us. So these numbers down here tell us, hey, Ohio has 261 doctors per 100,000 people, and compare that to down here at District of Columbia, which is crazy, 798 doctors per 100,000 people. And I don't really know why that is. It's interesting to it would be interesting to look into, but there's a lot more doctors available per 100,000 people, so higher density of doctors in the District of Columbia than in Ohio, for example. So here we can compare state to state um, number of doctors per people, per 100,000 people. All right, so that's A. B, make a histogram of the displays of the distribution of doctors um, and write a brief description. Are there any outliers? If so, can you explain them? Okay, so to make a histogram and describe a histogram, and on something like this, I'm certainly expecting you to do it on your calculator. Um, and how do you do this on the calculator? You're going to input the data under stat, edit, and then you're going to have to look at your window. Um, and we'll, we'll have obviously done a bunch of these in class, so hopefully you'll have a good idea. I'm just going to give you the summary of this, and I'll, and I'll show you what you need to write up. Um, window, um, to adjust your window, and then, of course, on stat plot is where you um, tell it to actually make the plot. Now, one of the things, we can do make a, a histogram by hand on here with all this data, but that's why would we do that when we have the calculator to do this for us but you have to know obviously how to input the data and you have to know how to read it and how to manipulate it and how to set it up and so when you set it up and how many classes to have on here we want to have roughly five to seven classes and I'm looking at when I look at the data I'm setting mine up from a hundred and my classes are I made class widths of two of 100. Six hundred. All the way up to eight hundred. And then from these are my counts up here. So between a hundred and two hundred, um, I've got let's see what I, I've got six states. So if I go ahead and make my scale here, 10, 20, 30, six states that have um, between 100 and 200 doctors per 100,000 people. For 2 to 300, and what I'm doing is I'm actually reading this off of my calculator that I have sitting right next to me here. 36 states, so that's going to be 36. 
and between three and four hundred I've got six and so there's always a fine line between the balance of technology using technology and understanding what you're doing um, I say I say that and then it sounds kind of funny you have to know what you're doing but how much I guess the fine line is what do you do by hand and what do you let technology do zero zero and then one between 700 and 800 so here's one down here okay so here's my distribution and when it says to describe the distribution we always think of socks oops I'll write it oops SOCS for shape you have to describe the shape outliers the center and the spread and you have to do this in a paragraph form I don't want a list form and I want it in context okay medical doctors per hundred thousand people okay the distribution of medical doctors per 100,000 people and see I'm just what I'm doing is I'm going up here and I'm reading the title here to help me keep my keep it in context um, the distribution of medical doctors per 100,000 people um, by state um, is skewed toward the higher numbers and probably can hear someone my neighbor doing the lawn in the background um, towards the higher numbers um, that's the shape so it's skewed to the right with an outlier um, of the District of Columbia with and what's the District of Columbia? 798 docs per 100,000. Okay, um, what's the center? Is approximately now here we're just kind of eyeballing it. The center of the 50 is going to be somewhere between 2 and 300, right? So I've got 36 in here, I've got 6, 8, 9 over here, so somewhere between 200. The center, oops, whoa, sorry about that. The center is approximately, um, I don't even say approximately now, I'm going to say is between 200 and 300. We're going to be discussing later how to find that exactly, but for right now, we're just looking at the graph and making it a, an, a, our best approximation guess, look at it. Center's process is between 200 and 300 um, doctors per 100,000. And the minimum is, what's the minimum? Starts, we're going to have to look up in the table. Um, let's see. Got 171 here. looks like that's this minimum up to the maximum of 798 this is our spread the minimum is 171 and max is 798 okay so I just gave a nice summary statement of what the distribution looks like in words okay there you have it